Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 61 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Last time we finally finished up this long quest we've been sent on by Celio here, after uh, raiding the Rocket Warehouse, our Repel's Effect wore off, obviously. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit uh, daunting for a few moments, but we managed to make it through without losing anybody in the, in the warehouse anyway. And now we're going to move on to the last of the uh, Sevi Islands here that we have not yet explored. Going to Seven Island. Let's see what we have here. I, I know like a couple of things that wait us here, I think. But uh, I'm not sure entirely of what this place is all about. The Quest Island of Infinity. That's quite a grandiose title, if you ask me. You better live up to that. This island has been left virtually untouched by the nat in its natural state. It could be a little difficult to hike around because of that. Good to know. I'm gonna get need rock smash or something. These islands are called the Sevi Islands because there are seven, or at least that's what the young people believe. The truth is, these islands are so named because they are said to have been made in seven days. That is, huh? That is interesting. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but these islands were built in seven. On this island, different events occur depending on the connections. What are those connections? They are for you to discover on your own. That's ominous. Did you ride Sea Gallop Ferry to get here? There are at least 10 of those high-speed ships. I don't know where they all go, though. <laughs> good to know, good to know. I guess that we haven't been riding the same ship this whole time. If you're confident, you should check out Trainer Tower. Oh, is that like the Battle Frontier equivalent in this game? That is probably not something we're going to be tackling, but we'll probably uh, check it out at any rate. See what's up there. Alright, oh man, this place is bustling today. Alright, preparations are, are complete for me to be explore the ruins. <laughs> Pokemon have personalities on their own, just like people. My Pikachu has a hasty nature, so it grew to be a speedy Pokemon. Fancy that? I need to fish on Seven Island. That will complete my fishing tour of the Sevi Islands. I better stock up on some Pokeballs first, though. <laughs> uh, maybe that's our hint that there's some exotic Pokemon to fish for here. Let's just have some fun, man. We've had a, a lot of a lot of stress in the past few episodes, but um. I flew ever challenging trains wherever I found them. Now my only source of enjoyment is reminiscing about the past while watching battles. Oh, okay. Not a bad retirement, I suppose. Let's see, so we head up here to Trainer Tower. Hello. Oh man, you're a trainer. Okay. Somewhere on this island, peculiarly Pokemon are sleeping. I think she might be talking about the ruins in the south, which would be where the unknown are sleeping. If I if I'm remembering right, I might not be, but. That is uh, what our call is here. At any rate, let's just uh, rock tomb Zazatu into non-existence. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was actually a little bit annoying because she had this hypno that just kept putting my Pokemon to sleep. But it is what it is. Wake on up, Coco. We got stuff to do. All right. Somewhere on this island, peculiar Pokemon are sleeping. Could it be that they're waiting for you? Oh my gosh. Oh, be still my beating heart. Trainer tower ahead. So I believe we'll get an encounter here, because this, yeah, this should be our encounter for, uh, for Trainer Tower on this water here. After we defeat Psychic Dario, of course, a Giraffe Rig, that's a new one. How you doing there, buddy? This is kind of a neat Pokemon, it's, uh, its name is actually a Palindrome, as I'm sure no one has ever pointed out, ever. Crunch, ooh. Shouldn't do that much, actually, if it does hit. I don't think Fly will kill by any means, but yeah. Odor Sleuth. Don't do that, that's such a gross move. You're just like sniffing me all over. You don't have my consent, Giraffe Rig. It's not okay. All right, man, strength is just about as much as fly there, dude. Interesting. Is that gonna be enough for you to outspeed me? Oh, it is. You outsped me so you could get even more speed with agility. What a smart guy. All right, I do love Giraffe Rig. It's, I'm, it's unfortunate that he's not like a better Pokemon stat-wise and viability-wise. Because he is a pretty cool Pokemon. Oh, speaking of agility, Zealus is trying to learn agility. Don't think I'm going to need that. She's uh, fast enough as is. Uh, sharply boosts the speed. And we'll probably be okay without it. Stop learning agility? Yeah. Alright, second Dario. Give up. What? <laughs> That's rude. You can't just say that to somebody. In your future, I sense that you will meet many others. I think you will be linked to each other by a strange power. Called the internet. Dun dun dun! He foresaw it coming, guys. He knew it was gonna happen. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, switch Coco out of the front here. 
so we can probably put Mr. T up front so we can thunder wave whatever our encounter is going to be. I can't imagine it's going to be too much uh, of interest in this trainer tower area. But you never know. Maybe there's nothing at all? I suppose that's another option. Is there really going to be nothing here? I'm pretty sure I don't have a rappel up. Okay, there we go. Finally got something. What is it here? A tentacruel. Well, I know we already have a tentacool. Uh, I guess I'll take this thing out just for, for BP, for experience. We already have a tentacool, so that's not, uh, that's not our encounter there. Encounter number one of who knows how many. I think I'm actually going to probably switch to my uh, fishing rod, though, in order to get this encounter. Just on the off chance there's something interesting. I think that is our encounter, actually, a Remoraid here. Which is uh, fine by me, honestly. I actually really like Remoraid, because it evolves into one of my favorite Pokemon uh, names to say. Octillery. I don't know why, I love saying Octillery with this sort of, like, swagadocious uh, ring to it. Anyway, let's throw our Master Ball at <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, obviously. Let's go ahead and uh, first Thunder Wave this thing. And then try and catch it in like an Ultra Ball or something. Man, I love Octillery. It doesn't make any sense at all, really, that Remoraid evolves into Octillery. Like, how does a Remora evolve into an Octopus? I'm pretty sure that doesn't make much evolutionary sense. I haven't uh, read Charles Darwin's uh, books or anything. Theories, but, you know... There is that. Alright, so Remoraid was caught. We actually do have a couple of nicknames in my nickname uh, folder here now, thanks to some people from the last episode. It has superb accuracy. The water it shoots out can even strike moving prey from more than 100 yards. Damn, pretty impressive. Alright, Remoraid. What are we going to nickname you? Let's find out here. Alright, well this nickname comes to us courtesy of Lydia Fairy, who has been apparently watching the uh, series with her friend Chris here. So we're going to name it Chris for uh, for those two so thanks for watching you guys hopefully you're still watching now uh keep on keeping on you guys are awesome here's a remoraid for you chris was transferred to bill's pc right on i believe that actually fills out box one believe it or not because uh, i think there's only one empty space left in there i never did hatch that egg by the way i'm pretty sure uh it hatches into a togepi which being that there's no fairy type in this game there is uh not a huge incentive to get a togepi Rise to the challenge, trainers! Well, let's take a look-see, regardless. Uh, gotta love that music, at least. I'm here to see how good I am. I wonder what kind of trainers are waiting for me. Uh, it's never-ending? Is that what she said? It's never- never racking? <laughs> oh, it's nerve-racking. Man, I'm, I can't read it all today. <gasps> never mind battling. These stairs, they're tougher than any battle. Oh my goodness. Let's get all healed up here. Before anything else is said and done. And actually, we got a PC over there, so let's check out our uh, our new friend, Chris the Remoraid. There was actually one encounter before that that was... It wasn't an encounter, obviously, but it was a Gyarados that we fished up, which is kind of amazing. We already have uh, have Mario in here, though, so it doesn't matter for us. Chris the Remoraid, how you doing, buddy? You got a careful nature? I think that might be okay. Hustle trades accuracy for power. That's not the best ability. Makes it like so that it has slightly more physical power than uh, with, the, with lowered accuracy. Got Water Gun and Lock On. Pretty shitty moveset, but uh, you know, I'm pretty sure Octillery does get pretty good uh, stuff later on. I think you can even learn like Flamethrower and shit. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what you got. May I help you? Buy, sell, or see ya! <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we can actually buy quite a decent amount of stuff here. Don't think I need any of it right now. This is like the leaderboard for Trainer Tower right now. Uh, let's check it out. Single, oh my god. Time board 59. All right then, uh, how do you do? Hello, welcome to Trainer Tower, where trainers gather from all over. Trainers are awaiting your challenge up on the eighth floor, or up to the eighth floor. Would you like to challenge the Trainer Tower, or the waiting trainers, info? Uh, a time attack, you'll be timed on how quickly you can get from the reception counter to the owner on the roof. Best times will be recorded on the time board. Try competing with friends to see who can beat it the fastest. <laughs> who can beat it the fastest? Ha <laughs> ha. So immature. You will not get any experience points or money by beating trainers here. 
I think I'm not going to do this, but let me know if you guys want to see this uh, later on. It's kind of an interesting challenge because, like, you try and get through to the top, and there are some tough trainers in here. But, I don't know, it's... It doesn't seem in the spirit of a Nuzlocke, because, like, here you expect your Pokémon to faint eventually, just because that's the nature of the, of the, like, the battle towers in these games. So, I feel like if I did do that, then any faints in there wouldn't really count against the Nuzlocke, so it wouldn't... I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. We're gonna forgo it for now. But, um, yeah. Is this a trainer here? He might ever, he might very well be. I got Coco out front. Confident with that. Not many people come out here. If I train here, I'm convinced that I'll get stronger and stronger. Yep, stronger and stronger. How would you like to learn a move like that? It's called Swords Dance. Can anyone learn Swords Dance? That would be alright. Uh, only Kirito can. That is strangely fitting. <laughs> Man. Alright. Oh, Lord. Canyon entrance. Oh, jeez, that was fast. ki ha 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 I'll flick you away effortlessly. Excuse me? You're gonna flick me, like, in the nose? That's rude, Aroma Lady Mia. Maya. You got a Blossom. Oh, that's so cute. This <laughs> is... Oh, God, I love Blossom. So sweet. It's nice seeing all these Pokemon that I don't get to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon, because that's, like, the only Pokemon game I've really been playing lately, is uh, Sun and Moon, and a lot of Pokemon from these older generations aren't even in there. So it's nice to nice to get a breath of fresh air, see some Blossoms. I mean, I didn't need to see two, but uh, more power to you, Mia. Sunspore, eh, no big deal. Oh man, this blossom's actually a little bit hardier. Magical leaf, that's gonna do like literally nothing to us. Okay. Oh, I got I got confused there. I thought for some reason I thought rock resisted grass, but no, it's weak to grass. So I thought it was like quad resisted when realistically it was neutral. But that's egg on my face, I guess. Man, I've been playing Pokemon for how many years and you still make mistakes like that? Silly me. What's that? I don't act the way I look. <laughs> That's part of my strategy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's like a tomboy version of a of an aroma lady or something here. All right. Well, we got another encounter for Canyon Entrance here. So let's see what we can uh, pick up with our Thunder Wave tactics. We got a Slowpoke. Oh no. We already got a Cow's Crazy Hand in the party. So no dice. All right. No luck in this grass. It looks like, unfortunately. Just uh, Meowths and Slowpokes and I believe a Spearow at the end there. Say la vie. We actually had a Persian in there somewhere too, which was uh, rather interesting to see. Um, might as well throw up another Repel. Actually, I don't need to right now. I'll do it at the start of that grass there. This guy looks like a Bird Keeper, so Coco should do just fine. Howdy, are you a member of my fan club? Just... Well, depends who you are. Is your name Applejack? Oh no, you're a Juggler. No, Bird Keeper, Juggler, Mason. You got a Voltorb. Ew. Well, I know I should probably outspeed this based on my previous experience with Voltorbs, so, uh... Mason. What a name, man. It's like you were born into a trade, and then you decided, No, I don't want to be a Mason. I want to be a Juggler. I want to be a Juggalo. Level 39. See, this is almost up there to that evolution point. That's getting exciting. All right. Not sure if she's gonna get anywhere much higher than that within the Sevi Islands here. But it would be nice to see her evolve before we're done and before we're said and done with everything in these uh, islands. Pineco! That's a new one. Uh, let's go ahead and fly. Hopefully, this thing just explodes and I don't have to deal with it. Bide! Ooh, that's actually a little scary. Let's kill. Okay, it did kill. Because oh. what Bide does is it effectively takes the damage that the Pokemon has taken. And then it like doubles it and does it back to you. It's like freaking scary, man. But you know what? Fly should be able to take this one out as well. Rapid spin, that's even less uh, less threatening. Oh man, we missed. Spikes? Dude, this guy is so weird. He's freaking running a running a pineco as a hazard setter, well before such a thing was even a concept in the brains of young children like me. I love Pineco, man. It evolves into Fortress, which is a pretty tough thing to take down without a Fire-type. 
And our fire type does not fare well against the uh, against Pokemon right now. Not of this high level. La la la, my Pokemon, I'll send them out. All the girls scream and shout. <laughs> Alright then. You uh you're a weirdo. Let's go ahead and get a repel up in here. Up in this biatch. Alright, what do you guys want? Oh, you're actually two individual trainers. The island is too spread out. It's not easy patrolling the place. I thought they were going to be a double battle, but they're actually just standing side by side. Just Pokemon Rangers. Ranger Nicholas, huh? Got a Weeping Bell. What's a level 51 Weeping Bell? My god. To, uh, to a Coco, though. Show them what you're made of, girl. I actually should just walk Coco out of the front now, because uh, she's level 53. I believe we still have uh, Impolo to level up to 53. That's just my OCD nature, man. Gotta keep uh, keep everyone of equal level. Roughly, anyway. Victory Bell, that's even... My god. Will a fly kill you? I certainly hope so, because I don't want to take like a Giga Drain or a Frenzy Plant or whatever you want to go for. Ooh, did not quite kill. And you got a Stun Spore off on me, you jerkwad! Oh, I'm so insulted. All right, let's just go ahead and strength this thing. You got a full restore? I forgot rangers have that kind of stuff. Such assholes, man. All right. Well, thankfully, we know that Coco is uh, immune to your charms and also the effects of paralysis, apparently. They just never seem to affect her. Ow, that hurt. Well, thankfully, you can't kill me on this turn because I'm flying, so. Aw, yeah. Get gone, Victory Bell. Little, uh, little heart pounding for a moment there with that, uh, Razor Leaf, but... Say la vie. Uh-huh. Sure, man, sure. Alright, let's go ahead and swap, uh, I believe in Polo. Yeah, you are the last one to... Then you see up to 53. Swap you up front, and let's heal up Coco before we get on moving with this, uh, next battle here. I'm so glad in this game that Hyper Potions still restore 200 hit points. That was a, a big kind of game changer in Sun and Moon when they only restored 120. Granted, it still restored a Coco to full there, but I rest my case. I punish people who abuse Pokemon. Then why are you battling me? Come on. Obviously. Oh, she's got a Gloom Vile Plume combination, I imagine. Alright, well, Sludge Bomb should still do a decent amount to this thing. I know it's not super effective, but, uh, it's not not very effective either. Yeah, look at that. Pedal Dance. You think that's gonna touch a muck? Eat it up, Impolo. Om nom nom. Those pedals. So good. Turn them into compost, buddy. Aw, oh, yeah. And Sludge Bomb again. Should do it in. Now, a Vile Plume might be a bit of a different story here. Or she might have a Blossom. You never know. If she has a Blossom, that's actually even better than the than a Gloom. But now she got a Vile Plume, okay. Better for us, I mean, it would have been, because Sludge Bomb would have been super effective at that point. Let's Sludge Bomb this thing anyway, see how much it does. I don't think it's going to be a two-shot like it was on Gloom, but you never know. Oh, actually, yeah, look at that. Damn it! What is with you guys and Stun Spore? I tell you what, I tell you what. Alright, Petal Dance, yeah, they got nothing for Muck. I mean, realistically, what can Vileplume even learn that would ever touch a muck? Maybe, like... Stun Spore? That's about it. Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, uh... Hidden Power Ground? Sure, why not? Get your face out of my place, Vileplume. Oh, shit! That's it! That's it. Zelos is level 40, guys. It's about to happen. Are you ready? Are you ready? You don't seem to be a problem, trainer. <laughs> Thank you. Take pride in that. Oh my god, Zelos, you're evolving! Oh, didn't take too long at all, actually. I was just talking about this earlier in the episode. Oh, so beautiful. I freaking love Rapidash, man. Such a cool Pokemon. Yay! Zelos evolved into Rapidash. 
the fast spark plug. Oh, you got to try to learn fury attack? No, that's okay, honey. You don't need that fury attack. Your moves are already set. Uh, let's talk to you really quick first. If you treat your Pokemon with kindness, they'll understand. They'll understand what? I'm so confused. Look at her. Oh, she's so beautiful. That 101 speed, that's so good. My god. There she is. All fully evolved, nice. Well, I think that's probably going to be a, a nice spot to end our video off on here. Because we're up at around 25 minutes, it looks like. So thank you everyone for watching. In the next episode, we will continue our exploration of Seven Island and perhaps complete our exploration of Seven Island. Who knows? For now, though, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.